Hey there. Welcome to my very first vlog. We're gonna see how this goes today. I need to go to the mall and pick up some makeup items from Sephora, Ulta, and NYX. So we are on our way to the lift that should be here in a couple of minutes. So I hope you guys have fun watching. See y'all in a sec. sugars or preservatives to in, in anything um, so we are very focused on health and wellness what is this um, that is my blue lemonade it's apple cucumber and lemon it's gonna be good for alkalizing your body it's very high in electrolytes as well really good. Yeah. so do you make it fresh here we don't make it here we have we have uh, 18 different locations so we, we juice every morning in um, the arts district, I'm sorry, the design district of Dallas, uh -huh. um, in a refrigerated facility, so everything, yeah. anything else but the, the produce in there, so, yeah. And these are the prices, can it be ordered online? Yes, you can order it online. So we have um, like a minimum bottle that amount, that I think it's five bottles that, that mm -hmm. you have to order if you do it. Okay. Uh, and that's because the way that we send it, we send it with ice and then we do it. Okay. We ship, yeah, we ship everything. So we just ex express ship. But it is free shipping in state. Oh, so okay. if you're in Texas, then that's, it's free to you. So we can just have to get it. You have anything with beet in it? Uh huh. Yeah. So my number two, my red juice, is my beet space juice. So it's celery, beet, ginger, parsley, and apple. Now this is going to be good for your um, your blood, especially. So this opens up your vascular system, and allows your um, blood to start to be refined and purified. It's a good stress reliever and stamina booster as well because of the mix, especially of the ginger and beets in there. I love beet juice. Yeah. Mm hmm Do y'all like juice? You want to try something? No? Of course not. <laughs> I have something that y'all might like. Do you like orange juice? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? Two, got two takers. Well, this is my, we call it our Zen Orange. This is 100% organic Valencia oranges that have been cold pressed. Oh, so it's like real orange juice. Mm-hmm. Yep, so this is really, really delicious. There you go. go. Did you want to try? Yes, please. So this is the winter variety for the Valencia orange. Um, so it's going to be a little more tart than the summer one. Still very sweet. Still a tiny bit more tart. It's got twice your needed daily vitamin C in it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's great for your immune so system. So how much are the bottles? It just depends on ingredients and oh, size. Okay. So, um, the now the the orange is some of our cheapest because it's just just, uh, just one ingredient. Mm -hmm. So um, the orange is uh, three seventy five for an eight ounce. 
Um, the blue lemonade, you have 16 ounce and 8 ounce, and uh, the, uh, the 8 ounce is 675, whereas the 16 ounce is 10. Um, same thing with the red juice, it's the same price. The carrot juice is the same price as well. So what's in the carrot juice? Uh, it's carrot, orange, apple, and cucumber. Um, so this is good for your skin. You want to try it? Because when I do uh, carrot juice, I put apple and beet in it. It's so delicious. Oh, you put beets in it too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, so that's oh, white my one. personal favorite. So that is our almond milk. Yeah, because we specialize in juice cleanses, um, this is what we have at the very end of the juice cleanse. Uh, for uh, It's a good protein source, and then it's also good for uh, melatonin, help you sleep, and then almonds are a natural hunger suppressant as well. Okay, so I want to get the um, the red one, but when I come back through, I'm going to be in a while, okay. in the, here a while, and I don't want to get hot. Yeah, for sure. Do you want to um, get it now, and I'll just put it in, I have a mini fridge under here, I'll just bag it up for you. Okay. Uh, would you like a small or a regular size? It's, What's uh, the difference in ounces? Um, 8 ounces or 16 ounces. Oh, it's better to get the 16, right? Yeah, price-wise, yeah. it is. And you said it's free shipping in Texas? In-state, yeah. As long as you're in-state and you buy um, at least, the, I believe it's five bottles, as far as I know. Exactly what I was going here to get. Wait for your sister, don't move. Uh, no, ma'am. I'm not going in the Lego store. No. No Lego store. Sephora. So. I don't know what I do out here. Uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm looking for eyelash glue. Eyelash glue or Is there a specific one you're looking for? I think it's this one. No. Is that House of Somebody? Yes. Yeah, House of Lashes? Yes. Is it House of Somebody? That's all I can remember. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on the Sephora Lash Glue.
Touch it. So Kane, get from over there. Just, 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 we gotta ride the escalator. Put some lotion because I am so ashy. Good job. Fine. Oh, there's a restaurant up here. Oh man, I already ordered my lift. Hmm. But it's still quite Let me see. They let you try. Come on, let's go down. Is it right now? Let's come sit back down until the lift comes. Ooh, let me get one of these. Let's sit back down. I'm just getting one of these. Okay, this is the restaurant inside of. Not really cute to me. Yes. Somebody text on you, mommy. Okay. I really want to try that, but I don't want to pay for it. Getting what I didn't even come in here for. I want to try this out. Shake tape. And they should be holding my body blender for me. There's some over here. Let's see. I called and asked them to hold it. This. Really? I always get you right here. Clearance section. We'll get you a treat at um, Target, okay? What? Oh, here, let me see. Uh, let me see your uh, street address for coupons. Come on. Oh shoot, I have a return. Oh crap. I gotta walk all the way back down there. Well, I'll just grab everything and just. Oh no, I can't do that. Fudge. Elf. Oh, I'm 
looking for a good brush that can blend out cream um, products like for my um, paint pots on my eyelids I need something that's pretty dense Ooh, a Sonia Kashuk all on I hope I'm not getting rid of her stuff Sonia Kashuk has the best brushes or cheap. But I'm still not seeing what I need. Hmm. I hear some more. This line is really good. Ooh, look at that one. I have one like that. It's old though. Super old. Um, trying to find one that might work. No. Dang, so I'm looking for. So if y'all are needing some really good brushes, these seem to be half off. So go to your local Target and get you some. These are really, really good. I've had mine for ages. They just don't mess up. I'm not seeing. Oh, look, this is what I want right here. That brush. Dome concealer brush. I would pick up something that's probably not. Watch the basket, even on sale. Um, let's check the price. That's the brush. I don't. Oh. Great. I don't like these kind of oils. <laughs> it's not working. I need a moisturizer from um, uh, moisturizer from Shea Moisture. I think everybody in bed Shea Moisture. I gotta find it. It's normally over here, but of course that highlight that Maybelline. I think it's Maybelline. I don't see it because this is the moisturizer that I picked up. But Mama, look, it's here. I don't yeah. like it, so let's. It's see. Again, the one that I wanted. That's all that I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let me go to the service desk. An exchange of this. So now we have made our way over to the important part of the store. Looking for fresh veggies. And so character, character. I need to get a red onion because I want to try this strawberry avocado salad that I saw on Facebook. Yeah, look at my hand. First of all, I'm ashy. Second of all, you can tell I've been in the makeup store. I need red onion and organic strawberries. Oh, okay. No. Oh shoot. Let's see.
is my favorite. Let's do it. Party is alkaline water. I'm looking for poor, but I don't see it. And these are a dollar. or 29. I don't know which is which, but I'm going to get some of these. Yes. You want this left out? Oh, I need a planner. Hold this. Don't drop it. For a plan or two? Yeah, I didn't use it last semester though. They, I, they don't have the they good ones that they normally have. It was all at the, at the front. Right. This can't be the only section. I was surprised to be very I know. Hmm. That's too small. I like to wait for that. Okay, Amazon it is. Hey y'all, we are finally back home. I am exhausted. We have been gone for hours and hours. Took my wig off and everything. Like, <laughs> I am exhausted. I had to get dinner started. And I just wanted to show you all what I ultimately winded up picking up from all of the stores. Um, I know that some of the footage is in landscape, some of it is in portrait, but just know that my kids were helping me film. So, they weren't holding the, the camera right, but whatever. Y'all got to see kind of what we were doing today. Um, and like I said, I'm super t tired and happy to be home. But one of the last things um, I was looking for, where should I look here or should I look there? I don't know. One of the last things um, I was looking for, I was in Target and I was trying to find a planner because of course it's a whole new year and um, I needed another one and hopefully you all were able to see that i was having a hard time finding one because i didn't like any of them they were really really thin i was like what am i going to do with this but at the last minute i saw this one here which is actually a beautiful dusty rose color and the little tabs are rose gold um and it was 20 bucks so it will do it's a very basic planner um, but again it'll do it'll get the job done and it's pretty thick so this is these are the types of planners that I'm used to I typically order the day designer um, but I didn't want to pay like 60 70 bucks for it again because the the last year I didn't even use the full planner the year before that and plus they're like super basic so I don't know why they cost so much because they're not anything special so anyway that was 20 bucks also from target uh, i picked up this brush set here i mainly wanted this one which is the dome concealer brush um, because i wanted a brush that could help me blend out my paint pots and the other two foundation brushes are just a bonus um, now this rang up 35 dollars but everything um, all the Sonya Kashuk stuff was on clearance, so 
um, they actually gave it to me for $15 but this here is the brush my hands are so dry <laughs> like all day my skin has been just bone <sighs> bone dry I need to go bathe in some olive oil and Vaseline um, but this is the brush that I wanted and it's a very dense brush and I'm hoping that it will do a good job at blending out my con under eye concealer and my paint pots because I'm actually going to start wearing um, shadows again and then this one is the pointed foundation brush really really nice. I love Sonia Kashuk brushes they are in um, and then we have the precision foundation brush this is the the daddy of the group um, really really nice I typically don't I only use um, my beauty blender to blend out my foundation. I haven't used a brush in years, but I'll find something to use these for, but this is the one. I bought the whole set just so I can get. This is my daughter. Hello? Uh-huh. I figured say hi to the vlog wait what'd you say say hi to the vlog oh god dog it say hi you're on camera hi everyone <laughs> uh, I, I, I said you would call when i would okay so we were rudely interrupted by my child all right so the next store that we went in I don't know I'm trying to do this in order uh, was NYX we have a whole NYX store in our mall which I love here Carmody stickers stickers for the kids all right I don't even want to know how much I spent my budget for the day was $40 who was I kidding um all right, so I got these three pencils, and the reason I like getting colored, go sit down, colored pencils is because I like to mix them with my nude lipsticks, and it totally transforms um, your lipsticks, so your nude ones anyway. Um, so if you're someone who doesn't like to spend a whole lot, of, a lot of money on lipstick, like at max seventeen fifty a pop, just get you some inexpensive. Nyx has really great liners and it could completely transform your lipstick so this one here is oh put it on and it's like a deep a deep 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 plum um and then i picked uh purple rain which is a magenta color and then this is a deep chocolate brown and it's just um y2k i was really hoping to get one that was close to chestnut by Mac, uh, I think this is a little deeper, but nonetheless, it'll work. The main reason I went into the NYX store was to get this handheld mirror. Um, but now I didn't touch it or anything. They just got it from the bag for me and threw it in the bag. I didn't like touch it until I got home. It feels really cheap, it's super lightweight, but nonetheless, you know, it's still cute. And I need another mirror because mine broke. And it comes in this branded velvet bag. And this is the mirror here. It's really cute. Handheld. I like it. It's so cute. Uh-huh. I can see myself. So, yeah. That's the main reason I went into the NYX store. So, that's all that we picked up from there. I didn't see anything else that I had to have. So, Ulta. Oh, from Target, I also picked up this. I think I kind of showed you some. Wait, focus. I showed you all this. And it's the Daily Glow Priming Moisturizer with coconut oil and something else that I can't pronounce. And it's just a, a white um, cream because the moisturizer that I had, it was like a jelly consistency and I hated it. And it just made my skin feel even drier than it already is so i got i took that back and exchanged it um picked up the reason i went into ulta it's light it's really washing us out 
was to pick up this Real Techniques Miracle Face and Body Sponge. Let's see if we can get this a little bit. It's super bright. But anyway, so it's a little bit larger than your regular makeup sponge, but it's for your face and body. It's really dense, and I typically don't like dense sponges. I love the Beauty Blender because it's so lightweight and it just adds a flawless finish to it your, adds a flawless finish to your foundation but i wanted to try this out because i've heard nothing but great things about it so it could be used wet or dry i think i'm gonna dampen it i don't know i, I really don't like dense brushes because i feel like they just take up too much of your your foundation next in Ulta, which i was not going in there to get btw but i just so happened to go in the wrong direction and i saw this tart shape tape and um i've been watching a lot of tutorials lately this is why i stopped watching makeup tutorials is because it, i wanted to buy everything years ago i forced myself i unsubscribed from all the beauty gur gurus that i've watched um, because everything that they used, I wanted to buy it. And it, it became this obsession, this addiction. And I was like, no. But all of the videos that I've been watching lately, people obsess, adore, and love this shape tape. So I picked it up in tan sand. Um, I swatched it. And that was all she wrote. I was like, oh, she is going home beautifully swatched it's actually still on my hand along with every other but the oh lord it's gone right here is where it is and i swiped swatched it a couple of hours ago it's still there along with everything else i put on the back of my hand i can't get it off that's some good good products because i can't i've washed my hand and i still can't get the stuff off but this is what that looks like the packaging feeling i'm gonna love this with my um what is that powder that i bought recently oh, i can't i'm drawing and a then lastly sephora now i went into sephora for the lash glue and of course you can't ever go into sephora and just get what the heck you need and get the heck out that never ever happens right so these are super cute. They're just the little samples of perfume. And this is the Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. Um, something I can't uh, read his writing. But the little samples. And it smells so good. And I just loved how he put them in. Loved how he put them in this, these little. Um, I don't know what these are. Cardboard things. But um, so many people have been talking about Tom Ford um, perfume, and I'm super like picky. Sit over there with that. When it comes to perfumes, these seem a little musky to me, and I don't like that. I like more of a floral, very dainty, feminine scent. This is a little mannish <laughs> to me. But I will try them on my skin. I don't know if I'm gonna like that. Probably will not, but nonetheless got that and then birthday gift got the glam glow hello sexy super mud and glow starter moisturizer uh, which i've never tried glam glow i just refuse to pay for glam glow i don't mind investing in skincare because we wear our skin every day and you know my skin has been going through a lot lately um, breaking out and whatnot, but I'm not I just feel like this stuff is really overpriced and I don't think it's all natural either so If it was all natural with organic ingredients, that's one thing. I don't know where to look um, But this is a super mud and I probably will get a couple of uses Out of this and a few uses out of the the nude glow um, moisturizer so these are two little uh, cute little samples um, that was cool and this is the glue that I went in to get which is the house of lashes and I got it in clear it comes in black as well but I'm not 
that good at putting on lashes just yet so I feel like I need a clear um, it's really small but everybody loves it I've heard nothing but great things about it even the girl at Sephora said that it's her favorite but she could have been lying because she worked there I don't know um, <laughs> but yeah I got that that's what I went into Sephora for it's $9 but it's $6 on their website right now just FYI honestly Fenty Beauty Foundation I have been wanting it since it came out but Sephora um, both of the Sephora we have two Sephora's in the mall we have the main store and then we have the one in JCPenney and they have been out all this time um, and I just so happened to ask before I went to the register if they had the darker shades in stock and sure enough they did I swatched this one and I think 410 or 430 no I forgot. Uh, it was another one that I swatched that was um, on the back of my hand and it blended into my skin perfectly. However, I am very yellow. I have very yellow undertones. I know that, but yellow based foundation looks terrible on me because it, it eventually will oxidize and make me look ashy and have that ghostly look. Um, and it also for photographs horribly on me, so I like something that's a little more red um, on my skin because it just looks better, um, especially in pictures it looks better and I don't look like I'm just completely washed out. So I got 420 and I feel like everybody's 420. Just like in um, MAC, everybody was NC45, I feel like everybody's 420. Um, but we y'all have seen the packaging um, love the frosted bottle I love that it comes with a pump already y'all know we have to have a pump but I'm so excited to finally have it um, yeah it's super pretty and I hope that I like it oopsie uh, oh well 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 I hope that I like it on my skin um, but it's washed well so we'll see but anyway, that is, I believe, all that I got. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it was according to my bank account. Um, so anyway, yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed my very first vlog. Please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down below if you liked it. And if I feel as though you all are engaging well with the video, I will continue to vlog. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to comment rate subscribe and share if you feel the need and watch this video right here which is one of my latest videos and let me know what you think about that as well i will see you all in the next one bye oh there she is <laughs>